So look, I have cooked with this pit so far. I do believe about eight recipes or so, and all of them have been stellar. But I gotta tell you, ain't none of them gonna be more stellar than today's cook. It is gonna be the classic ribs, but I got some corn also going on. We are in the midst of a heat wave here, 95 plus. But I definitely do have to eat, and this is gonna fit the bill nicely. So look, what I wanna do here is let's get started right into the show. Let me turn my attention down to the board. We've got a little bit of prep work to do with these ribs. After that, we will get on up to the deck and fire up that Brazilian flame. So for this cook here, I decided to go with the baby backs as that is gonna give you a little bit of extra meat, a layer on the top. That should give a little bit of protection in there with that Brazilian flame. And of course, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get them unwrapped, get yourself some paper towels. You gotta pat them dry. Now on that membrane, that is your call. I am just gonna score the back. That is gonna be good enough for a cook like this. Once you get those all patted dry, once you get that membrane scored, it is time to pick your rub. First up is going to be a little bit of layer of that dusted. That is going to give us the salt we are looking for, plus a little extra charcoal flavor. And I got to tell you, you guys know I've been using this dusted on some past cooks. And a little bit definitely goes a long way, so you do not want to overlook it. So a little bit of dusted goes down. Once I get that all rubbed down, the main ingredient on today's cook is going to be that D's nuts. This is going to give us a pecan flavor that is going to take this out through the roof. You are gonna wanna get plenty of this stuff on. And if you don't know about that D's Nuts, that is gonna be a meat church rub. I'm gonna have information down in the description on the D's Nuts on the dusted. If you wanna pick some up, follow the link straight to Amazon. Now getting the ribs out on the skewer could not be more easier. Basically what I like to do is twist it on skipping about every bone or two depending on the size of the rack that'll get you on there nice once you get those ribs all on the skewer it is time to turn our attention to the corn i am going to get a little bit of olive oil on the corn and from there i have chosen a brazilian flame rub that is going to get the job done that is a salt and herb rub that is going to be perfect for corn once we get that corn on, once we get the uh, ribs on, we will leave these here on the board. It is time to get up on the deck and fire up that Brazilian flame. So this is my Brazilian flame and firing it up could not be more simple. Basically on the left side, you are gonna get a timer and also an on off switch that is gonna also tell you the temp inside the pit. You're gonna get a two zone on this model. Basically all you gotta do is you gotta hold it in, turn it and you are gonna hear clickety clickety click. That is gonna be your automatic ignition. After a couple moments or so, you will see it fire up. Now for this cook here, I am gonna start both zones on high I will fire up both zones and you are looking at a temperature anywhere between 350 and 400 or so if I feel it is getting too hot I will lower each zone and this pit does not take long to come up the temp but once it comes up the temp I will grab the ribs I will grab the corn and we will start to cook so once that pit comes up the temp we will get our foiled grease catcher underneath Trust me, we are gonna be basting out these ribs in a little bit. So you are gonna want that foiled for easy cleanup. And next up, we will get our ribs. I am gonna put them down there on the bottom rack. And of course, the corn is gonna go right above them. And one of the beautiful things about this pit is it seems to cut the cooking times down. So we are probably only looking at about 45 minutes on these ribs and I can definitely dig that. So what I wanna do here is I will shut that door, start that rotation, and bring you guys back in about 15, 20 minutes, and we will give it a look. Alrighty guys, so look, it is time to start having fun as we are about 25 minutes into the cook. And basically what we are going to do here is we are going to utilize that warming rack that sits on top of the uh, sits on top of the Brazilian flame. We are going to hit that with about a half a stick of salted butter. I guess you know where we're going here. And look at the melt, man. It is nice and warm up there, nice and hot up there, but not too hot. And at that time, we will go down below. We will look at our corn. The corn is looking good. We will get that off. We will get that up in the warming rack while that will sit. Once all that is done, we will turn our attention now to the uh, 
to the uh, to the pork ribs. We will shut that rotation. We will get a temp on them. And as you can see, we are approximately 100, 185 or so. That is gonna be perfect to take this to the next step. And that next step is gonna be in basting the ribs. Grab your favorite BBQ sauce and start basting away. You can pause the rotation. That'll help you get the job done. Oh man, those ribs are definitely looking good, but just hold on and wait about another 15 minutes or so into the cook as we are gonna make those ribs look absolutely incredible. And when I say incredible, I do mean incredible. We are 10 more minutes down the road. And as you can see with that sugar and the BBQ sauce, we are starting to build some char. For me, char is flavor. We will give them another basting. Shut that door and I will see you in about another 10 minutes. Alrighty guys, so that is going to close out this one. Total cook time is going to come in at about 45 minutes or so, under an hour for the whole thing as we go in and take a look at the ribs. I mean, look at the color, man. They look absolutely perfect. Have the perfect amount of char and just take your eyes and look at that sizzle. I am just going to let the camera run here as the sizzle looks, uh, well, the sizzle looks absolutely sizzling. We will get that corn off and the corn looks good we will get that down to the shack at that point we will pull the ribs and like i said i'm gonna let the camera just run as that is the perfect color for me that is the perfect amount of char i cannot say the word char enough i absolutely just uh, just just love the flavor of char and these ribs are going to be through the roof of flavor what i am going to do here is i am going to get them down to the shack I will show you just how easy it is to get them off the skewer. Oh man, these ribs look good, man. I cannot wait to dive into these suckers. The Brazilian flame, I mean, what can I say about that, man? Everything I throw at this thing, it just, I mean, it just slays it. There is, there is no other way to say it. I will allow these ribs to sit on the board only for about five, 10 minutes or so. At that time, I will bring you guys back we will do that taste test, talk about it, and close out the show. Alrighty, also look, I hope the camera got all that as this was a uh, this was a fun cook for me. It only took from from start to finish, hitting the pit to to. Uh, to finish under an hour, man. How could you beat it? The corn is perfect. The uh, the ribs, this is a whole different dimension than a smoked ribs, and I definitely love this, uh, I definitely love this type of rib. It is gonna give you that char. You put that BBQ sauce on it, it has some sugar in it. That is gonna give you that char on that outside. Some people would call it burnt, whatever. I, I, you know, I really don't care. To me, it is char. To me, it is flavor. And like I said, I have done this style, uh, this style rib many times, man, and it never fails. And that Brazilian flame, I gotta tell you, man, that is one fun cooker. Like I said in the beginning, I have used it probably five, six, seven times or so, and everything I have thrown at it, number one, it just makes cooking fun. And number two, it cuts your time way down on what you are cooking. And like I said, everything I've thrown at it was just, uh, you know, 10 out of 10, man. It was perfect. Uh, on this cook here, we utilized that top plate that is a warming wrap. I put some uh, put some butter in there and kept the corn in there because the corn is obviously going to get done, you know, before the um, you know before everything else. So that is a uh, that is one of many ways to uh, to utilize that top uh, that top tray. Let's go on in. It is about it's 95 here in Jersey. It is, it is very humid. The pool is calling my name. This is going to be lunch for later today. But let me give you guys that taste test. We will talk about it. And of course, we will close out the show. Wow. You know, so I got to tell you this, these nuts is a, uh, it is a nice blend of spices. I definitely dig it. I used it on a, uh, on a pork belly cook. You know, look, this is a uh, this is a 10 out of 10 cook. There is no doubt about it, man. This is, uh, like I said, this is going to be lunch for me. I will have information on everything down in the uh, in the description as far as the Brazilian flame, this D's nuts, 
the, uh, the, the dust that is down there. Uh, Brazilian flame has some spices, that salted herb that is on that, uh, on that corn, it is beautiful. What else could I say, man? 10 out of 10. It is summertime here at the Gallery BBQ. It is summertime where you guys are at. Get out there and grill up some food. Go have some fun with family and friends. That is what it is all about. And in about an hour or so, my best friend will be jumping in the pool chasing a ball. So I look forward to that. After that, it is lunchtime here. So I am thrilled about all that. I hope you guys got some good plans today. I appreciate you all for watching, supporting the channel. It means so much. My Patreons and my YouTube join members, I appreciate you guys. I don't mention you enough. Again, my name is Tommy. This is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. That is the Brazilian Flame. And until next time, we will see you soon.